Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we'll see how to use Roll20's Fog of War feature. This feature allows you to gradually reveal areas of a map to your players so that they can't see a given portion of the map until they actually arrive there. This feature is available for all Roll20 accounts, so anyone can use it. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So when you create a new map and you drag your player characters onto it, they can see everything inside that map. In fact, if I pull up my player view right now, they can see everything on the map just like you as the DM can. And this is challenging because it means that the players can see through all the walls and there's really no surprises here. If there were a bunch of cultists waiting to attack the PCs over in the kitchen area, for example, the players are going to know about that and that's going to ruin the surprise. So Fog of War is going to allow us to gradually reveal the map to our players. So let's see how to set that up. First thing we're going to do is go up to the page toolbar and bring up our page settings just by clicking on this cog right here. And I'm going to scoot this over and I'm going to pull back my player view. I'm going to scroll down now and under fog of war, I'm going to click fog of war on and then save settings. And when I do that now, you see that my player view has gone completely black because my players can no longer see because the fog of war is blocking everything. So to reveal an area to our players, what we're going to do is go over to this toolbar button and we're going to click on reveal areas. And when we do that, our cursor changes to this little crosshairs. And as I drag, you'll notice that the area I'm selecting highlights in yellow. That means we're going to be effectively lighting up this area. So yellow means light. When you've got your area selected, release your mouse. And now that area is revealed to our players. If we'd like to rehide an area, go back to the toolbar button and select hide areas. And from here, the process is exactly the same. We're going to highlight the area we want to darken and roll 20 will darken it. One thing I'd recommend though, is grab a slightly bigger area than you think you need. That way you don't inadvertently wind up with little slices of light like you see over in the player view right now. So just a tip there, usually highlight a slightly bigger area than you think that you need in order to blacken the area completely. Now we can also use this polygon reveal tool to reveal things to our players. And the difference between reveal areas and polygon reveal is reveal areas always reveals a square or a rectangle area on the map. Polygon reveal allows you to draw a shape that can be revealed to your players. So let's say that I just want roughly a cone of light coming off of this torch here rather than lighting up the whole room. I just want one corner of the room to be lit up. Well, what I can do is select the polygon reveal tool and then click and roll 20 has created a point for me right here. I'm going to come down to say this spot on the map. I'm not dragging. Just move your mouse down, click again. And now Roll20 has drawn a line on the map. I'm going to move out to about here and click again. And now we have a triangle area that's going to get lit up. I can continue going like I could come up to here, click again. And then when you're done, when you have the, the shape that you're happy with, you can either close it off by clicking on the original point again, or you can right click and that will complete the shape and light up that one particular area on the map. So this is nice because you can quickly build out a little bit of light on the map without revealing the entire area. And that's handy for situations when your players have a really weak light source or something like that. Now one thing to mention is there is not a polygon hide tool, so if you do want to hide an area after you've used the polygon tool to reveal it, you will need to use just the regular rectangular hide areas tool in order to do that. If you want to reset the fog of war for the entire map, go back to the toolbar and select reset fog. That will give you this prompt asking, are you sure you really want to do this? Say okay, and now your players will be back in the dark. Now to speed things up so that you don't always have to come over to the toolbar and click the reveal tool or the hide tool that you want to use, what I'd suggest you do is go into your game's settings, go to keyboard shortcuts, and enable use advanced keyboard shortcuts. 
When you do that, that will give you a bunch of keyboard shortcuts related to the reveal and hide tools. So you can see here the reveal areas tool is marked RR, the polygon reveal is RG, and the hide areas is RT. So what that means is let's say I want to use the reveal area tool. If I tap RR on my keyboard, and my keys are pretty loud so you should be able to hear this, and now I drag, you see that I'm dragging with the yellow light, so this is going to reveal the area to my players. And if I pull back my player view, sure enough, there it is. If I come over here and I use the hide area tool, which is going to be RT, again, we've got the reveal area tool still selected, so RT, and now I drag again, you'll see that the area has been blackened, and the polygon reveal tool was RG, so and now I can click and create the points to get that cone of light that we talked about earlier. So you may want to just put a sticky with those shortcuts written down on your monitor so you can refer to them quickly, but this will just make it much faster during gameplay to reveal an area as your players are exploring. And the beauty of it is that all the keyboard shortcuts for these items are R, R, G, R, T, can be done with your left hand while your right hand stays on the mouse. If you decide that you no longer want to have Fog of War on a particular map, just go back to your page toolbar, back to the settings for that particular page, and then turn off Fog of War, save those settings, and now the whole map will be lit up again for your players. Just a couple of other things I'd like to mention. You cannot use macros to hide or reveal an area with Fog of War, so you're going to use the drawing tools like we saw during the video. And you also can't combine dynamic lighting and Fog of War. So if you are a Plus or a Pro subscriber who has access to dynamic lighting, it is all or nothing one way or the other. In fact, if you look at the tooltip right here, if you turn on Fog of War, it disables dynamic lighting. So you're going to probably stick with dynamic lighting if you've got a Plus or a Pro account, simply because that's a lot easier to use in that you don't need to reveal areas at game time. Your players just have things automatically revealed to them as they explore. So if you have dynamic lighting, I'd say stick with that. But if you don't have a Plus or a Pro account, Fog of War is a really great way to make the game a little bit more immersive for your players and to, pardon the pun, keep them in the dark about what's around the next corner. So there you have it. That's how to use Roll20's Fog of War feature. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Until next time, folks, have a great day.